Country 107.1, it's Victoria Banks, When You Can Fly. One in every crowd from Montgomery Gentry in there, too. It's Steve Fanning on the More Music Morning Show. How you doing? All right, this woman is, I, calling her a woman is actually a fallacy. She's only 17 years old. Her name is Alexandria Mitchell. And she joins me on the phone now this morning to discuss exactly what she's going to be involved in in December. Alex, good morning. Alex, are you there? Good morning to you, too. Now, where are you a uh, grade 12 student? Uh, well, I'm a grade 12 student at Abbotsford Collegiate. Now, you were hooked up with me through a mutual friend of ours by the name of Shirley Wilson with Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Abbotsford and Mission in Ridge Meadows. That's correct, yeah. And uh, are you involved in that organization, or do you just know Shirley? Well, I am. Actually, I'm an in-school team mentor with the organization, as well as a uh, board member. Oh, no kidding. Okay. Yeah, it's my second year there. When I was in grade 12, I think I had a paper route. <laughs> Alex, uh, you're doing something very special uh, over the next little while. It has to do with climate change. Tell me a bit about what this is all about. Yeah, well, I was actually really th thrilled to uh, receive the news a little while ago. I've been selected to be a delegate for the uh, COP15 United Nations Climate Conference happening this December in Copenhagen, Denmark. And what exactly does that conference entail? Basically, it's a coming together of world leaders and um, different groups from all across the world to talk about climate change and come up with a new um, policy or a new program or plan in order for the, uh, the entire international community to address climate change. So what's your role going to be? Well, my role is that of a delegate, and um, I'm going there to try and, well, my goal is to broaden this, the uh, discussion on climate change, but to really urge um, the international community as well as my country to take a progressive uh, stance on climate change and try and develop some sort of a program for reducing carbon emissions and affecting some positive environmental change. Is Stephen Harper going to be there? We're hoping so. I think he's, he's we're, we're expecting for him to be there. I'm hoping he'll come. So Now, Alex, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit cynical, but I hear an awful lot about these summits and conferences and symposiums that are held uh, various times throughout the year on various major issues. And to me, whenever I see the footage of it on the news, I always think, oh, well, that's just a free gravy train kind of trip for a bunch of world leaders to spend a time in a foreign country and uh, do a little bit of sightseeing and maybe attend a conference for a about two hours. Do you think that this conference is actually going to do any good and is actually going to enact any actual change when it comes to uh, when it comes to climate change? Well, Steve, I think the way you feel is the way that a lot of people throughout Canada and throughout the world feel about about these types of events. Um, in my opinion, I think that that the coming together of world leaders and and everyday people as delegates that have been chosen to attend is is going to make a difference in the sense that we can all come together and have some discussions on things. Um, I hope that it'll be an opportunity to to broaden some discussion, whether it, it happens at this conference or if it's a result that it happens after, that people in communities start engaging and start talking about climate change and um, we have an effective discussion on where we should go to, to make a difference. What would you say is the one major issue you want to hammer home to these world leaders if you get in their ear for about two minutes? Well, I think we've got regional issues here in BC and in Abbotsford, of course, and then we've got national issues. And I think one of our biggest national issue or, or something that's stopping us from um, achieving our goals in terms of uh, ending climate change is that of the tar sands. So trying to, trying to make an impact and have a discussion in that way on that issue. But then there's issues facing, again, BC, things like um, fish farms that are so important and are also a really, really big issue uh, in Northern Europe. If uh, somebody who is listening, maybe say a grade nine student at Abbey Collegiate, Here's this kind of thing. Here's you getting involved and uh, wants to do the same kind of thing by the time they reach your age. What would be the best advice that you could give them in terms of uh, in terms of getting them to, say, a Copenhagen in 2012? Uh, that's a great question. And I think when I was in grade 9, I remember thinking that there was never any possibility that I would ever get to go to a United Nations conference you know, in grade 12. That I'd never thought of that as something that was within my reach. And I would just encourage them to... Start engaging with their local environmental organizations. Um, find an issue that that they uh, that they believe in, and find something that they can support. And really, really work to maybe campaign for it, or start talking with their city councilors and school trustees and and other um, leaders in the community, and um, start start 
trying to address that and really moving forward with it. Um, I think that if we if we believe that we can uh, can work for something and we can we can try and achieve it, then I think that they uh, they have all uh, capability of doing so. So. What's your plan after graduation in June? Mm, well, I'm not sure yet. I think my plan is to head into commerce or political sciences, either in at the University of BC or um, Alberta or Ottawa. We're trying to figure that out right now. But um, I'd, I'd like to eventually get into environmental law and then move into politics. Do me one favor, Alex. As soon as you get back from Copenhagen in the new year, you'll give me a call and let me know how it all went, won't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Thanks Absolutely. so much for taking the time out this morning. I appreciate it. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Alexandria Mitchell over at Abbey Collegiate. She's a grade 12 student. She's off to Copenhagen, Denmark in December to discuss climate change with the people who run this world. Not bad for a grade 12 student, I gotta tell you. I'm pretty impressed. Back in just a second, we're with Lady Antebellum in Alabama before 9. I know this sounds weird.